We're also seeing how communities are being leveraged across really, really niche games as well. And social media is a, quite, a great way that they can get to those niche audiences at scale like they've never been able to do before. Good morning. Is everyone in good spirits? We are. You're speaking for the lady. I oh. think it's 2020, she can speak for herself. Alex, we've entered the second year of the vlog. Congratulations, I can't believe you're still here. Have I seen my gifts? Yeah. I didn't create them, but yeah, I've seen them. They're I good, love aren't they? them. Do you like the one of you leapfrogging me? Uh, right, well, we are talking about uh, the Go Agency GIFs, which are now live on Giphy and across uh, all social platforms. You can use them on WhatsApp, you can use them on LinkedIn, DM, Twitter. All you have to type in is the Go Agency into Giphy, into your WhatsApp search, anything like that. Who have we got on there? We've got George Grant doing silly things. We've got Sam Fowler doing silly things. You're obviously doing silly things. Oh, Aaron Shepard, myself. Great Craig's got some fantastic ones. Go on, show. It's great going to hell. Some just great reactions. Give us a spin, give us a 12. And keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, once round, round once more. Yeah, that's, that's a gift. That's a gift? Yeah. Oh shit. I can't see anything but without the gift filter. Gifts. Just a little uh, laptop bump. What? Go on, just... <laughs> Do it, just dance. It's not a boomerang. <laughs> yeah, it's not a boomerang, you're gonna have to do more than that. Oh yeah. Oh. He's coming. Thanks, British Library, mate. British Library, yeah, mate. Thank you. Where are we off to? British Library for a <laughs> talk for Sheridans about gaming and the gaming space. They do a masterclass every sort of six to eight weeks. This one's about new media and gaming, how they intertwine with popular culture. I want to panel my good friend, Seb on Golf, because obviously he's got the hashtag United Esports team. And then we've got a dash back because we've got a company meeting at 3.30. We've had a lot of new subscribers in the last few days, thanks to a lovely shout out from my good friend, Jack May on his channel. A bit of a weird one, really. We've got the GOAT agency, who are an agency, but they create a daily vlog. As he's proven with lots of people coming over to subscribe here, he does have power to move his audience over. He's a good example of influence marketing, I suppose. And we saw him at the KSI Logan Paul press conference in London. No, we didn't. I was accused of being a, uh, a B-Tech Jack mate at the London press conference. Who are you? Who is it? Who is it? Who are you? What? I'm just a camera. What do you make of this weekend's fight? I need some Gib versus So Jake it's Thursday Paul. night. I'm in the same boat as I was with Logan versus KSI. KSI was the underdog, but he had more desire and more to gain from it. And I think Gibb is in exactly the same position as JJ, where he's probably not as technical as a boxer, but he does have the heart, he does have the desire, and more than anything else, he has the ability to not be a loser in this fight. If he gets beaten, he gets beaten, but he's had a huge amount of exposure and he's made a lot of money. I think Jake is a much harder person to transition into the new sort of older age demographic that he wants to be in. And I think he's very jealous of JJ and Logan who can easily transition, but Jake will always be the guy who was on Disney and was the, the kids entertainer. Whereas the other two have always been the teenage entertainers. It's very easy to age up with your audience then. We're seeing huge breakout games that are going incredibly broad. Fortnite is a great example of that. And then we're also seeing how communities are being leveraged across really, really niche games as well. And social media is a, quite, a great way that they can get to those niche audiences at scale like they've never been able to do before because you can actually identify who is going to be interested in the game about fishing because there's actually fishing communities on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. Golf is a great example of that as well. Like it's a niche community. It's very difficult to get to that target market. But now there are huge YouTubers that are creating golf content all the time. So if there's a golf release, there's something and a community that we know have an interest in that already. And that spans the culture. Welcome to the first company meeting of 2020. Thank you very much. Jobs. 
What the hell are you no. dressed like? Everyone's at all bar one. I know, that's why I'm going. You're going like this? Yes. Because we're celebrating. Momentum. Well, momentum sounds like a dodgy operation. You may as well end the vlog. Catch us here tomorrow. Uh, we're always dressed as sharp. Catch us here tomorrow. Wow. You get out of here, you. Guys, he's working here, like this song says, knocking Go on heaven's away. door. Well, okay. <laughs>